where the kids can get hold of it. Anybody can get hold of it. They've got to be on top of it. People in an upstate community appear split on a drug bust that yielded 15 pounds of marijuana. Cherokee County deputies also found candy, cereal, even peanut butter infused with the drug. The investigators say the street value is about $30,000. Yeah, Sheriff Steve Mueller says he's more worried about these drugs unknowingly getting into the hands of children. 7 News' Nikkel Smith is here. She has more details tonight. Nikkel. Tom and Amy, the sheriff says it is crucial to get marijuana and any of its products off the streets. Chocolate cookies. Oh, my goodness. Milk and cereal bars, bars of chocolate, even candy and peanut butter. All packaged up and ready for sale, laced with marijuana. That makes me sick because so kids could get hold of it. A tip about illegal activities led deputies to a home on Crenshaw Road near Calpins this week. They found 44 glass jars with marijuana, marijuana laced products, and almost $8,000 in cash. Michael Dower has since been charged. The sheriff says the product packaging is dangerous for children. When you look at the warning labels, uh, they're almost silly. It tells you this for medical use only. Well, you know, if I look at Xanax and Lortab and Oxycontin and blood pressure medicine and other medicines, I don't see them packaged this way. The bus was welcomed by some residents. That's always good. That's that much less that's on the street. One comment on our WSBA Facebook page said, I'll be impressed when they're seizing the real drugs, meth, heroin, etc. Another said, it is not what is killing everyone. You can go to Colorado and buy it every day. What happens in our society if we got a group of people that comes forward and says, meth has medical benefits for me? Are we going to make meth legal too? A state medical marijuana bill proposes allowing doctors to prescribe up to two ounces of marijuana or its equivalent every two weeks for terminal debilitating medical conditions. This is what's already filtered its way into our community and it's not legal. It's illegal. We will be flooded and inundated with this type of garbage if our legislators keep moving forward this bill. And you can read a lot more about that medical marijuana bill on WSPA.com. Well, Nikhil, uh, public opinion may be split in this, but the sheriff clearly is very concerned. Yes. What about the products that the deputies found? Do they believe those products were made in Cherokee County? Well, the sheriff says he does not believe the products were actually produced in Cherokee County. He says they feel they were shipped from elsewhere. So now federal investigators are also involved with this case, Tom. All right, we'll see where that leads. Thank you, Nikhil.